folks, this is Clay Dennis with Southern North and Patio. Today we're going to talk about vented gas logs. Now with vented gas logs, most of the heat is going to go up the chimney. That's true. That's absolutely true. The problem is there's more to that story. Most of the fireplace people that I know of are saying vented bad, vent free good, all based on the fact of the heat staying in or leaving. The problem is, is what you're looking at here is about 90,000 to 100,000 BTUs. Now that is going to equate to enough heat to heat about 3,000 square feet. So what's that, what, what good is that going to do you in the living room? Now, the convective heat is the type of heat that's going up the chimney. But let's not forget about radiant heat. Radiant heat is actually a light energy. In fact, it's actually off the visual spectrum, but it's, it's heat energy or light energy that strikes a solid object and turns to heat. That's why when you stand in front of something like this, it feels really good. It's very similar to how the sun heats the earth, and so if you go outside on a 25 degree day and the sun heats you just right, it feels comfortable for a few seconds there. Same thing as getting in the car on a cold day and the, sun's been, and the sun has radiantly heated your car. So we're going to feel a lot of radiant heat off of this thing. It's good for heating a small space, it's good for heating a room without running us out of the place. Vented gas logs are actually used in lieu of wood. That means it's got to be a wood burning approved fireplace. If your fireplace doesn't draw well with burning wood, but putting gas logs in there isn't going to fix the draw. It's not uh, a way to fix that problem. In fact, it could actually be more dangerous. If your wood uh, burning fire doesn't draw properly, it's going to fill the room full of smoke. Here, that's not going to happen. It's just going to fill the room with other byproducts like carbon. So we've got to be very, very careful. If your chimney doesn't draw properly, we need to assess why it doesn't draw, okay? And then we can use gas logs. Vented gas logs really don't make a lot of sense on paper. A lot of people will look at it and go, geez, why would I want something where 80% of the heat went up the chimney? It's kind of like an old car, in an old muscle car. It really doesn't make any sense on paper. It's not designed to be critically or, or super efficient. It's designed for relaxation. It's designed for, for an evening with the family, just to relax by the fire, uh, burn it three or four nights a week. It's going to burn a little more gas than a non-vented, that's for sure. But the trick is, if you want a fire, it's going to burn gas. So it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't make all that much sense on paper, but what it does is it kind of, it, it, it gives you, an, there's an intrinsic value, if you will, of sitting down with your family and enjoying a great fireplace. Um, if it doesn't heat the house, so what? That's, that's basically how you've got to look at it. Now, the other thing about vented gas logs is that you're going to have to secure your damper all the way open. People ask me all the time, well, geez, why would you have to do that? Why can't I just open and shut it like I did with wood? If you do that with wood, again, the house fills up with smoke if you forget. With vented, not so much the case. So it's actually required that we go in and bolt a damper clamp. When we bolt that damper clamp, that thing is supposed to stay open from now on. And then if you need to close up your, your fireplace when you're not using it, you simply reach over, turn off the gas logs, and then close your glass doors. Glass doors will do a spectacular job of closing up the chimney. Other than just closing up the fireplace, glass doors can also make a real statement with how your fireplace interacts with the rest of the room. We spend a lot of time on choosing fabrics for the sofa and the rug and the coffee table and the blinds and the curtains. And then the fireplace is oftentimes looked at as just a hole in the wall. As you can see here, just spending a little bit of time in design can really change how a fireplace looks.